You have Microsoft Office 365 personal account where you get all the stuff and recently you've been forced to have Copilot stuck on all your Microsoft apps, your OneNote, your Word, all of it, and that's aggravated you. And then a month or so later, you get this notification in your mail, hey, you were paying $6.99 for that personal account. Now you're going to pay $9.99. No option to do anything about it. And so you just kind of accept it. It's only three bucks. What's three bucks, right? Well, for me, it was an issue. So it wasn't a three bucks that was an issue. It was actually the co pilot that was an issue. I don't want it. It's very annoying to have that little thing follow you around and pop up and ask you to check out features all the time and all that stuff. But to have that and then be charged another three bucks a month to use Microsoft Office was just frustrating to me. And I didn't know what to do about it. I figured there was nothing I could do about it. I was just going to have to pay that three bucks and put up with that annoying stuff. Well, guess what? Found this out today. It is so simple to get back to your original plan and get rid of Copilot all in one step. Now, if you like Copilot, don't do what I'm about to show you. But log into your Microsoft account, go to your page, come down here, you, you got your subscriptions, uh, you're on your subscriptions page, go down here, go cancel subscription. And it'll give you a, a whole bunch of stuff, yada, 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 current subscription, this is the one. This used to be my subscription. Guess what? I could go back to that and get rid of Copilot and get back to $6.99 a month just by hitting switch plan. And there we go. And that's all there was to it. Now, let's see if Copilot's gone. I hope it's gone. Let's see if Copilot is gone. I'm going to look first in my OneNote. Well, I still see in the Copilot thing up here, right there. So I don't know, that didn't disappear, but my price did go back. I just got the email confirmation on looking at it on my phone. I switched. Oh, Copilot will disappear on my next billing cycle is what it's saying. And it will go back to the original $6.99 plan. So that's why Copilot's still there. But anyhow, you want to get rid of it? Want to get back to your $6.99? That's how you do it. And just keep in mind that you're not going to be able to. Uh, and just keep in mind you're going to be stuck with Copilot until your next billing cycle. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like? Subscribe. Leave a comment. Have a good day.